So if you're one of the newer subscribers, just know that we hate Vitaly around these parts. You come around here talking about, OMG, I love Vitaly, we're gonna break your fucking fingers and make you type an essay. I don't care what you say, when you hit that subscribe button, you unconstitutionally waived your right to enjoy any one of the atrocities that is Vitaly's live streams. That was hard to get out, first try. Not gonna lie. Now, with that out of the way, How's everyone doing? Boo! Get it! I can't get believe it! Get a load of this! Get 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 this! But last week, In Touch Weekly posted an article titled, Rapper Lil Pump Accused of Battery Threatening to Feed Man to Gators. And long story short, they're talking about the time he spent catching predators with Vitaly. And like me and very few others were saying, it was only a matter of time before he got sued for doing what he was doing because regardless of how bad the person is, there are laws put in place so that you just don't go murdering bad people thinking you're immune to punishment. Like I get wanting to take things into your own hands, but eventually the wrong people are going to start doing this and that's when innocent people start getting hurt. Not to say Vitaly is doing things the right way, but he at least has some sort of script that he sticks to whether he admits it or not. But in this article they say a man named Edwin Valenzuela is the one who is suing Vitaly, Lil Pump, and also Colby Covington who was the special guest that day. And here's where things get interesting, because one, I did my mo fucking soup search, trademark, no you cannot, N-O-T, use it to find the lawsuit. But also, this is another instance where Vitaly has been caught faking a predator catch. Now right off the bat, if I was Kick and I found out that he was faking these catches after giving him 2 million dollars to fund everything, I would have added that on top of the lawsuit and been like, hey, is there any way you could squeeze me in for that 2 million, you know what I mean? A little squeeze for that little 2 mil ski? Right there, bro, I'll do it even at the bottom of the lawsuit, you can add me in at the bottom. Because if you do the math, it says an episode of To Catch a Predator cost around $100,000. Vitaly was given $2 million over the course of 10 days. That means he had $200,000 to spend on every episode, literally double what a national TV show had and he still couldn't find real predators to use for his live streams. But if you guys want to see the lawsuit for yourself, I left a link down below. And also I just want to say that unlike my previous Vitaly videos where I show you clips from the stream I'm talking about, this one is just going to be the one clip that I got from Twitter because not only has he deleted all his VODs, but any recent clips from the stream in question have also been deleted. And you're about to see why. So in this lawsuit under plaintiff's episode, it details how two unnamed guys basically lied to this Uber driver in order to get him on Vitaly's stream and unknowingly be a quote unquote predator. It says an Uber driver was approached by two male individuals off camera who requested a ride. Basically one of those guys who stands next to Vitaly and waits to be told what to do. They then casually engage with the plaintiff, even using his phone to play a low pump song. You know what I mean? Like planting the seeds, be like, hey, you like this? You like this song? Oh, you do? Well, what if, wouldn't it be cool if you met him? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. It would be cool though if you met him though. Remember that. Remember that. And now here's where it starts to get weird because it says they took the Uber driver out for pizza and then asked him if he wanted to make some extra money cleaning a boat, which is when they lured him to this address where the boat is at. And that's when they started showing him these fake text messages they said he sent to this miner. <laughs> He's 15 like me. Okay, baby. Do you want us? Uh -huh. Make him suck the dot and eat his ass. And eat your ass and his? I see better fucking acting. I see better acting by Kamala Harris. And all this other stuff that was streamed for everyone to see. Now, like I just said, he deleted all the clips of this from his uh, kick. And when you look for clips of this on Twitter, the only one that comes up are the ones of them picking on this guy in his underwear. Apparently, though, if you look up the words Vitaly sued, this four minute clip pops up of exactly who we're talking about. Now this is a four minute clip and instead of playing you the whole thing, here are some of the things that were done to this innocent Uber driver who was just trying to make some extra money accompanied by some clips for further context. Lil Pump kicking the guy in the head like a soccer ball. Lil Pump cutting his hair. Lil Pump smacking the guy in the face with a condom saying he has to eat it or go to jail. Vitaly, Lil Pump, and Covington then try to get him to eat the condom by threatening him. Get the lo comas or si no, yeah, you want an earring for fucking jail? All three of them then threaten him and say that if he left, he would be fed to the Gators. They said if he refused anything, Colby would knock him out. This is a UFC champion. If you don't eat that, she's gonna knock you the fuck out. Lil Pump took the guy's jewelry. This stupid TikTok lawyer who brags about getting actual criminals to serve no jail time tries to lie and get this guy to sign an NDA, which makes no fucking sense because everything was live streamed. There was nothing to unreveal. It all happened right 
right before our eyes. They even try to say you can make this right to try and guilt trip him into signing the paper, which is obviously just a release form to say that he can't sue anyone for what happened here. Which also voids whatever they were trying to get him signed, because again, they were lying to him about what he was signing. I'm not a lawyer and I knew that. They got him fired from the Uber app, his only source of income, and then they threatened him with a gun and damaged his car. Now like I said, this guy wasn't even a predator like they were making everyone watching the live stream believe. This was an innocent Uber driver trying to make some extra money and they put him through hell because Vitaly is a fucking dumbass. Remember how I said in the beginning that if he keeps doing this, innocent people are going to get hurt? It really only applied to people mistaking someone for a predator, but now I know that it includes people entrapping others for the sake of content. This lawsuit alone should be enough to get Vitaly's kick channel banned because who knows how many other innocent people he's done this to. Like I already made a video where that gambler guy Mickey tells us how Vitaly was faking his streams, but now it's coming from the actual person who was a victim of Vitaly's ego and need to stay viral. If Jack Doherty can get permanently banned for crashing his car and not caring about the safety of those around him, Vitaly can get banned for the same thing plus whatever laws he broke doing this being here on his green card. Like it also says that when Vitaly found out the guy was an immigrant, he said, Vitaly screams in the plaintiff's face, fucking illegals dirtying up Miami. Fucking illegal motherfuckers dirtying up Miami. You dirty ass fuck! My mom and I worked so fucking hard to come to this country and you just fucking swim or jump through the fucking border! Newsflash. Everyone who comes to America has to go through the fucking border, you dummy. And the only person who's dirtying up Miami is you. Remember, Vitaly was acting like he was the savior this world needed. And I'm not gonna lie, at times he had a chance to make a big impact. Remember how he caught the Space Jam producer during one of his catches only to let him literally walk back into where he lives? Only to realize who he was days after when somebody recognized him? Tell me, where's that dude right now? I can tell you he's not in jail or facing any punishment for trying to meet up with a 15 year old and it's not like they didn't have messages or saw where the fuck he walked into they just didn't want to wait for the police to get there because that's never a priority for them ever if the cops happen to be there cool but calling the cops isn't even a thought it even says in the lawsuit unlike the show to catch a predator there was no law enforcement present like i said this alone is more than enough for him to be banned and he knows it he also doesn't want anyone to know that he fakes these which is why everything is gone he's lucky i don't have more subscribers because all of these accounts like drama alert are saying that this guy is an alleged predator and it's like no if you guys were a real news company and did some actual research they ain't worthy enough for soup search and see that this guy wasn't a predator and Vitaly knew that hopefully this video gets enough attention to where kick sees this and is like yeah let's not have the guy who beats up random people on our platform for content until then see you guys tomorrow peace